Welcome back. We are building a movie app with the best coding practices and tools. In previous video, we created an animated movie carousal. In this video, we will create the bottom part in home screen that contains tab. The three tabs load three different sets of movies. When there is a tab on any tab, we make an API call and return with the respective movies. After returning with movies, UI should update itself. So to achieve this, let's start with a block that will handle the state management for us. In presentation slash blocks folder, create a new block using the extension and name it movie underscore tabbed. You will see three files already created for you. In movie underscore tabbed the underscore event dot dot add a single event movie tab changed event extends movie tab event as block will emit movie tab event type of event in map event to state method current tab index will store index of the tab selected using this index we will make it scalable to add more tabs in the future a const constructor to keep the current tab at the 0th index. Use the current tab index in props method so that event does not dispatch when the same tab is changed. Now in movie underscore tab underscore state dot dot update the abstract state to handle the current tab index as it will be required in every state to manage the active tab. Create the current tab index field as we did in the movie tab changed event. Add it to the constructor as well. Again in props method, add this field. By doing this, if you tap on the same tab, the block will not emit the state. Now add two more states for success and error handling. When you change the tab, you will emit movie tab, tab changed state. So declare a list of movies variable to store the movies. A const constructor with current tab index and movies. We are using current tab index from the abstract class. So you need not use this here. Use super to assign the child class current tab index to the abstract class current tab index. Use props method and assign both the current tab index and the movies. When there is an error in fetching the movies, you will emit movie tab load error. A const constructor with current tab index only. Also, assign the current tab index to the super class. In movie tabbed block, handle the events now. Declare the remaining three use cases, get popular, get playing now and get coming soon and use them in the constructor also. We are only working on movie tab changed event, so have only one if this will auto cast the event to movie tab changed event type. Use either similar to that in movie carousal block because the use cases return the same type as of now. Use switch for current tab index to call the separate use cases based on the tab selected. Our first tab is popular. So use the get popular use case. Second tab is now. So use the get playing now use case. The third tab is soon. So use the get coming soon use case. Again, as we did in previous videos, use the fold operator. When there is an error, emit the movie tab load error state. I will show in later videos how to handle errors in the UI. When there is a success, Emit the movie tab changed state with current tab and the respective movies. Now let's register the block. In get it dot dot, register the movie tab block. Thank you. 
Now let's use the block in home screen before we create the UI. Declare variable as the other blocks in home screen. Get the instance of the block from get it. Don't forget to dispose the block in dispose method. And like other blocks in the movie block multi block provider, add movie tabbed block as well. This block will be used in descendants like movie tabbed widget. Later in the video, you will see this. Now in this video, if we are adding tabs and the title of the movie again, we haven't added those textiles in the text theme. So let's add that first. Open theme text.dart in the themes folder. Create a subtitle one theme as per the material guidelines I shown in the last video. For unselected tabs, we will show the white color. Now for each movie card, we have title with 14 size and the white color. Also, according to material guidelines, I am also adding letter spacing, word spacing and the height. In the text theme now, add these two text styles also below headline 6. Now, how do you add text styles for the selected tab? There are limited styles in the text theme for obvious reasons. When we have to deal with extra colors for the same text styles, we can create an extension that runs on the text theme. In the same file, create extension on the text theme. Then create a text style copying subtitle 1 with the royal blue color and the font weight. This is how you will use this text style. And this way we can keep the uniformity and handle other text themes as well. Now just before we start with the UI. Let's add the tab text and model to hold the index and the tab text. In presentation journeys home movie underscore tabbed folder, create a new file tab.dart. This is a model class. Declare two fields in this index and the title to store index and the name of the tab. Create a const constructor with both the fields as required and add normal assertions for the safety. Now in presentation journeys home movie underscore tabbed folder, create a new file movie underscore tabbed underscore constants dot dot. Create a constant class and Create list of tabs and add three tabs with the index. Popular will have zero index, now will have one index, soon will have two index. Now, we cannot use the tabs from material library because that is not flexible enough and the UI that we want to achieve cannot be achieved by the tabs. So in the same folder, create a new file tab underscore title underscore widget dot dot. We will need title to put the text. Provide a function holder that will be invoked when we tap on the tab. To maintain the selected state, we will also have is selected field. We keep false as default value for is selected as of now. Add valid assertions for all the fields. Use text widget to show the tab title. Based on is selected value, we also change the text styles. Using container widget to provide the border for the selected tab the bottom border. We could have used column but that would increase the number of widgets. It would be good to use lesser number of widgets. We give the bottom border only with change in color for selected and the unselected state. 
give a minimal width as well. Here one point W will work. Use gesture detector to make the tab tappable with on tap function passed from the caller. Now before we move to creating the horizontal list view to show the movies, let's create the movie card first. This movie card will have an image and the title below that. In the same folder again, create a new file movie underscore tab underscore card underscore widget dot dot. We need movie ID in future for loading movie details, poster path to load the image and title for showing the name of the movie below image. To lay out in image and title, use column with horizontal center alignment so that both image and title are in center horizontally. The image will take the most of the available space, so use expanded widget. Use clip R rect for clipping with a border to the image. Use cached network image to load the poster image. To give some space in between the image and the title, add a padding widget. Text widget to show the title of the movie. Now we want to have single line of the title with text aligned as center and using body text to as the text style. Wrap this whole widget in the gesture detector to handle the tap event. On top of this, we will land on movie detail screen that we will cover in the next video. Now that we have the card to show in the list view, let's create the horizontal list that will show the movies. In the same folder again, create a new file movie list view builder dot dot. This is a stateless widget that requires list of movies. This time we will use list view dot separated to add some space in between each card. Rest all is very similar to the list view dot builder. Use shrink wrap to avoid any render flow exception. Tell the list view about number of movies it has to draw. As this is a horizontal list view, give the scroll direction as axis dot horizontal. Use separator builder to return a sized box of some width to give margin in between cards. Now build each card by using item builder. Fetch a single movie and return the movie tab card widget. To give some top and bottom spacing in between tabs and the list view, we use padding widget. Now this is the final widget, movie tabbed widget. That uses block, tab titles and the list view that we have created earlier. In the same folder, create a new file movie underscore tabbed underscore widget dot dot. Use getter to get the instance of movie tab block from ancestors. Declare the current tab index as 0 because by default we will show the first tab and its movies. Dispatch the movie tab changed event to fetch the popular movies. Since the state of tabs and list view changes on tapping any tab, we will use block builder that will rebuild our child. For some vertical padding top and bottom, we will use vertical padding. As the tabs are above the list view, we use column. All the tabs are in horizontal direction, so we are using row here. Using awesome feature of Dart, we can use for loop to build widgets in the array. Run the loop for the number of movies. Use the tab title widget by using index. Take the title from constants, call a function with the index that will dispatch the movie tab changed event with respective index. To decide whether tab is in selected state or not, we compare the index from state with the index of the tab. Below the tabs, 
we will only build list view when loading of movies is a success that is movie tab changed state so show the list view in expanded widget so that it takes the available space lastly you can create a function that just ask movie tabbed block to dispatch the movie tab changed event with the respective index open home underscore screen dot dot and replace the placeholder with movie tabbed widget when you run the application you will see that the title of the movies are very long and are increasing overall space taken by one movie card this is unexpected of course we can solve this by reducing the number of characters that can be shown in the title we will create an extension for this and take only 15 characters for the title and then we will attach three dots after the 15 characters So in common slash extensions folder, create a new file string extensions dot dot like we created size extensions dot dot in previous video. Create an extension on a string. Declare a function that you can call on any string. Check if the length of the string is more than fifteen. If it is more than fifteen, then you can take the first fifteen letters. Otherwise, take the complete string. This way, we only trim the strings which are more than the allowed length. Now there is a tip: you can also make this function take dynamic number characters that are to be taken. This way, you will make this function more generic. For now, I am keeping it as it is, with the fifteen characters. Now use this function in the movie tab card widget. Just add title dot intelli trim. Unfortunately, the VS Code is not good at dot extensions as far as I am I know. So the extensions are not available for auto imports. If you know the solution, then please let me know. Run the app for the final time and play with it. You can see. how in all the phones the home screen is exactly similar and there are no render flow exceptions and ui scaling this was all about creating tabs and loading different movies in the bottom part in the home screen see you in the next part of the series thank you thanks for watching if this video help you in learning something or other then your like will help me a lot i would love to hear back from you if you are new to my channel do subscribe and toggle on the notifications so that you never miss the future tutorials